feel a lot warmer today than where we were this time yesterday, but not quite as, as warm as we've seen as of recent lower to mid 90s across West Texas 94 and San Angelo 95 and Abilene Eastland 90 degrees, even 91 up in Breckenridge, even 92 over in Ozone. And now tonight is going to be a little closer to average for a late May night. We're going to get down to the lower to mid 60s across West Texas 64. It's going to be the lowest San Angelo 62 up in Abilene. A little farther east, Eastland and Breckenridge going to stay in the upper 50s, 59 degrees is going to be the low in both cities. And then along the I 10 corridor, 66 is going to be the low. Now, I want to give an update to the drought monitor because it is Thursday, but I want to preface this update by saying these graphs are usually starting the development on Tuesday, so it's very likely that this doesn't account for Tuesday night's rainfall. That's especially what you see here towards our hill country counties. They saw some of the most rainfall Tuesday, but they're still in this area of exceptional drought. So next week's update might be a little more reflective of what we saw this week, but we do see a little bit of a positive difference in some of our Concho Valley counties, specifically in Coke County. Last week, they were under that extreme drought category. Now they're down to severe drought. It's still too much drought conditions that we're wanting to see, but we are seeing things get a little better week by week. Now for the next couple of days, we're going to be kind of on a warming trend, grazing the 100 degree mark this weekend, but then we will kind of just stick to the upper 90s, bouncing around between upper 90s and the triple digits over the coming days. And I want to break down the why behind that. As I mentioned yesterday, we saw a lot of that rain at the start of the week, thanks to this upper level trough, as well as some low level mechanisms in place. But this trough has moved east, dumping heavy rain and severe weather to the east. And behind that, we have this upper level ridge to the west. That's going to be sitting over us over the weekend, helping us get up to graze those triple digit temperatures. It's going to weaken a bit as a trough behind it develops. And we'll actually see a low level cold front by mid next week that'll bring cooler temperatures and possibly some rain chances but that upper level ridge is just going to be so persistent it actually kills the trough which is going to hinder some of the rain chances we see so if we see any rain it's going to be isolated next week and this trend is even supported by the climate prediction center's forecast next week they're forecasting a slight chance for some above average temperatures as well as a slight chance for some above average precipitation and you can also see that on the seven day we're going be warming up going into the weekend grazing the triple digits before we start that cool down going into next week by mid next week getting down back to the lower to mid 90s with those isolated rain chances back to you adriano